And in Nigeria, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu has suspended the country's humanitarian affairs minister, Beta Edu, and that's over her alleged involvement in corruption. Now, President Tinubu has also ordered a thorough investigation to establish the accuracy and validity of those graft claims which have been leveled against the minister. Our correspondent, Tessim Akende, has the details. Beta Edu was sworn into office alongside other members of the Nigerian cabinet in August last year. She's alleged to have requested the diversion of more than $600,000 of public money into a private bank account, which is in contravention of government financial regulations. Anyone who is doing the wrong thing in Nigeria should be suspended. Because all these, we need the money, like in IDPs in Bokos, people need the money so that they can actually fund the people in the IDPs. You know, people are suffering. And this money is supposed to be dispatched to various places, various states, to assist people. The law says you are innocent until proven guilty. And so for now, she was, she's just suspended. If there's nothing wrong, then she would come back and continue with her work. Corruption allegations against Nigerian public office holders, especially those in the Humanitarian Affairs Ministry, are common. The pioneer minister in the docket, Sadia Umar Farouk, is currently being probed over similar corruption allegations, torching on the management of over $42 million of public money. The ministry is mandated, among other things, to develop policies and provide effective coordination of national and international humanitarian interventions. It oversees government assistance to needy and vulnerable communities across the country. Over 8 million people in Nigeria, according to the United Nations Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs, require assistance. About 80% of them are women and children, many of them victims of insurgency. Public affairs analysts say the president needs to extend the probe to other ministries, departments and agencies of government if the war against corruption is to be won. We are hoping that this same hammer will drop across board because it has become, corruption has become a pandemic in Nigeria. And if this is not done like this, then I am telling you, there is no hope for the future for us. President Bola Tinubu has pledged that his administration is putting in place policies to tackle corruption and ensure integrity in all public offices. He has subjected all ministers to a performance bond which contains key performance indicators that will be reviewed quarterly with consequences for those who fail to deliver. For now, Nigeria's anti graft agency, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, has launched an investigation into the corruption allegations against the humanitarian affairs minister, and the authorities say appropriate sanctions will be measured on her if she is found culpable. Tessum Akendi, CGTN Jobs.